What's going on? It's your boy CJ Ballin. This is the second part of Honest Stream Coaching. So, this is going to be about you actually pressing that button and going live. What are you going to play? Okay. So, the things that we want you to play is, you know, we, when I say we, it's as, you know, people who are here to coach or to, you know, motivate you towards growth and development and things like that. So, the things we want you to play is we don't want you to play big name titles. All right. The reason why we say don't play big name titles, because I'm sure you've watched tons of other videos. I'm sure you've already figured out that consistency is key. God damn it. So we want you to understand. Don't stream the big name games. You won't be seen. You will not be seen. I'm not going to say it's a hundred percent. No, but you are hindering yourself. All right. If growth, if growth, and growing your community is the point of you streaming. Not, you know, just streaming itself. You know, you love dream gaming and things like that. But if growth is important to you streaming in 2019 or any other, this is gonna be good for any time after this, after 2019. If you want to grow, if that is something that's important to you, understand the big name titles are not where it's at, okay? So, what I recommend, I've heard so many people say different types of uh, different levels, but I would say go down on Twitch to the 11th or 12th, maybe even 13th, you know, row of games. That's kind of, that's pretty much there. Those are where viewers were, are, you know, kind of running, running through getting a bunch of content and things like that now if a game has been out for so long understand um they may have their own you know they may they have been here for a while they may like a streamer extremely well okay so we're talking about let's say let's talk about um what game has been around here for a long time left for dead may there may be someone who who's you know dominating that all right I'm not saying don't stream left for dead understand some games that have been around for a long time they pretty much have like you know like an occult following they have people who watch who like to watch this specific person whether they're super good whether they're entertaining entertaining and whatnot or you know they're just the biggest dude in there so understand that if a game's been around for a while okay you may you, your potential of getting those viewers may not be there but understand if you're playing a game that is in the maybe in the 500s to in the 500s to I'd say about 300 500 300 sometimes 200 you will be able to find a loving community and find you know people to you know come to you and maybe check out your stream I'm not saying follow your stream check out your stream the following is up to you you as the streamer. so now that we've gotten through now that we've gotten to where we should be searching what are we going to do for our channel now for our channel you want to already be you want to already be set on what type of games you want to play if you like playing fps's play a lot of fps's a good fps to play if you are talking about you know community and things like that um paladins is really solid for a good first person um another good another good one if you want to be more um if you're more goofy more um the your communities if you want a community that's more based on you know being just everywhere out there more fun like more more fun and talkative and things like that and just goofy and things like not not necessarily toxic but having a multitude of energy regardless of where it comes from uh deceit is really decent deceit has huge spikes in growth and it's super fun you're if you're talking if you're you know struggling with talking the seat is a game where you have to communicate with the other players figure out who's infected or whatnot so that right there is fun to watch people like to see that those are two and they're down in the lower brackets they're good for you um fps's are just solid a lot of people like to play fps's so mmos um as far as MMO wise, it's kind of a shadow pool, but I know there are people who are trying to be into the MMO communities and things like that. So 
I would say Terra. If you're new to Terra, you haven't played Terra, um, don't worry about you know what anybody else say. If you like it most, give Terra a shot. If you haven't given Terra a shot, um, check it, see if you like it. That's a good place to start a MMO community. Very decent place to start an MMO community. Um, if you're trying to move forward, if you're trying to move towards you know, uh, more um, more like Monster Hunter ish, Dauntless is a awesome and amazing place to grow. Dauntless has such a wholesome community. I am a Dauntless streamer. I am not sponsored by any of these. So definitely check out Dauntless. I like playing it myself. You'll catch me there. Uh, For Honor is a very unique game. Definitely check it out. So you want to play games in those brackets. You can go now and look and check those brackets. All right. See what you want to play there. Also, you can go to a very, very awesome and cool place on the internet it's called twitch strike twitch strike i have a video i have a video on my channel about twitch strike it can help you find games you know what games are better to stream at the moment based off of the last you know hour days and something like that and it'll also tell you what games to not stream what games are dead and things like that so now that you have understand what game you want to play Okay, what game you want to play and the timing and things like that because Twitch Strike will tell you the timing and all that. All right, now we're going to talk about when you now you, you have now officially pressed the go live button. What can you look forward to? All right, so look forward to your first viewer coming the hell out of nowhere, coming out of nowhere because you just so usually you're like super excited. This is the best, best thing. So I assume you already have your alerts because everybody seems to have their alerts. <clears throat> you have your alerts. You have, um, you have, you know, your, your camera. You have, uh, I don't know, you have a preset overlay because if you do not have a preset overlay, you can go to, you go to stream elements, go to stream elements, not sponsored, go to stream elements, they have overlays for you to use. You can um, link it up with your um, Twitch account. They have overlays and alerts, animated alerts and things like that for you to use. These are presets. You can set it, forget it, just grow, okay? Off, you know, being a beginner streamer, this right here is something that can help you out immensely. So back back on to it. You've gotten, you, you've gotten your first viewer, your first and even your first follower, all right? Understand, every follower that you get is your best friend, all right? Every follower that you get, whether it's 100 to 1,000, every follower that you get is your best friend. Until they do something otherwise, they are your best friend. Now, my, my thing is, you will always remember your first couple followers. I don't, that's for me, I don't know if anyone else forgets their first couple of followers, but I had a guy named Batman and I love that guy to death. I still see him pop up in my, you know, in, in my, what you call it, in my, um, my Steam, cause I, I don't want Steam, it's cool. I remember Zeke, I remember all, I remember all of them, King, I remember Kimba, I remember Shiny. Like, I remember all of them. But understand the first couple followers or viewers, those are like your best friends especially when they first follow get to know them that's the best thing i can tell you get to know them tell them you know hey i just started what do you like about this game what game or whatever yada 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 you want to get to know them you want to talk with them the thing about it is the first couple of viewers make friends like to be honest make friends you you, you got one follower you, you ain't make it big make friends these are your homies all right everyone in your viewers everyone that comes back to you even if it comes, they come back this is the first time they are your buddies your friends your homies so treat them as such your buddies your friends your homies ask them questions talk if it's a multiplayer game ask them if they want to play with you ask them if they want to talk let the you know just get a feel for for them you want to you want to get to know these people these are people remember these are 
people. They're not numbers. They're people. Some of them are going to come and ask you for advice. You know, ask them how their day was. Ask them how their day was. Every time someone comes in, ask them how their day was. Ask them what, um, what do they like to do, you know, for fun. Whether, you know, they, they also stream or whatnot. Whether they like to, um, or whether they just like to watch, watch streams and things like that. Get to know them. Simple. Easy peasy. Let's go. We can move on to the next thing. All right. Now you've gotten a couple of followers. It would say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten followers. All right. You're going to under you're going to realize that after a while, after a while, um, some of them may not come back. All right. I'm not saying your content has bad is bad or whatnot. Understand that this is something that I needed to be told, and I didn't realize it because. You know, sometimes you're just on an up and up and then you just don't realize. Understand that um, they're not always going to be there every stream. All right. Even if they're even if they're, you know, they they like it so much, you can tell they like it so much. They're not going to be there every stream because people have lives. All right. People have lives, jobs and other streamers. All right. That's something you have to understand. You are new to this platform. They may have watched somebody and then they may go to you after watching somebody or something like that. You don't know where you are in their lineup, but understand this does not mean your content is worse or better or things like that. People have, they've been watched. They've made friends too. You have more than one friend. Okay. So they have made some other friends too. They may want to say hi or whatnot. Some people, which is a feel good thing. Some people come by to you and say hi. They're like, all right, hey, I saw you're on. Just wanted to say hi, um, ask how your day was, and then bam, I'm out. Like, those are the greatest things. Understand that you are not the only one on this platform. You are not the only one that streams on this platform. There were streamers here before you that they watched, and there will be streamers here after you if you so choose to leave. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way because i know that's kind of like discerning that's kind of um you know hard or it kind of hurts a little bit but that's something you have to know as a streamer all right that's something you have to know as a streamer and it's you have to get used to that all right you have to you will you know get other followers some people follow to follow uh follow to follow um you know just because they like your content right now and they don't never come back It'll never come back. All right. So now that you now that we've discussed, you know, getting your first followers and things like that, let's talk about trolls. Let's talk about trolls. All right. Uh, handling the trolls is completely up to you, but I can give you some general guidelines. All right. Number one, you can ignore them. If they're not even that good of a troll, because we know some good trolls, if they're not even that good of a troll. Maybe they're making fake accounts or whatnot and things like that. You know, you can ignore them, whatever. All right. You can boot them out. That's number two. You can boot them out. Okay. And especially boot them out if they are harming the channel, the content or harming the entertainment value for anyone else. Always do that. If they're hindering the entertainment, get rid of them. Okay get rid of them now because if you let them stick around later on it's going to be such a pain that because you're used to having them they feel that they're a part of the community um they're in your discord or whatnot get rid of them now trust me it'll save you so much pain it'll save you so much pain so much work and things like that so now that we've gone through trolls get rid of them ignore them ban them block those are the things that you have to worry about when you're talking about trolls i would say get rid of them right at the beginning don't even acknowledge them get rid of them there you go ban them they probably make a couple fake accounts but whatever that's work so now that we've gotten through the trolls because we're trying to get rid of all the things that hinder now we've gone through the trolls now we've we've already established what game and things like that let's talk about the hard part about streaming especially from the bottom the plateau the plateau please do not do not start going crazy with this 
don't switch your game up just because you are right, I'm not getting growth here things like that understand your plateau happens simply because you may have been in you may have gotten to a point where you know people are more commonly just not able to watch okay some people's schedule may have gone awry or whatnot or you know you know some people your 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 game has gone down a little bit in value you know do the research to figure out why but do not let it hurt you or hinder you there are times where you you know you don't have any followers i mean not any new followers you don't have new followers coming in but during the plateau i'll tell you this right now the best thing for you to do is jam out with whoever's in your community right now jam out with the people who are showing up give them the best goddamn time of their life that is how growth is done that is how you will get out of this plateau you will see more growth if the homies that are in your chat are having the time of their life you will grow i don't care what anyone says i don't care what you know what what the stats say you will not only is word of mouth working on your side if your homies jamming out and they're like yo my homie here or whatnot understand that if someone if one two maybe even three people come into your stream and see you guys are having a freaking blast you're having some bomb ass conversations you even just you know just doing i don't know ridiculous dances or whatnot celebrating a victory all right these are the moments that keep your viewers here these are the moments that keep people entertained these are the moments that builds the core and the heart of your community and that will bring you growth being a newer streamer these are the things that you have not only to look forward to to you know to to admire about other streamers you want this bomb conversation with this one, two, or three people. These people are your people, your homies, your best friends. They decided to watch you instead of watching an anime, instead of watching um, another streamer, a YouTube video, um, any bigger celebrity, a movie, they decide to watch you for five, 10 minutes, an hour, two hours, three hours. You know what I mean? So this is what makes the bigger streamers up there. They entertain with whatever way they can, which is, you know, giving them value between a good, you know, good performance, funny, talkative, you know, very respectful and wanting to, you know, learn about them on an emotional level. Or sometimes they just want a place to belong. So this is what you will give them. Give them that. Give them you. Give them your conversation. They're spending their time with you. Guess what you are also doing? Spending your time with them. So this is your boy CJ Bala giving you some honest Twitch tips. Some honest stream tips mixer tips you can take that to the bank and get a deposit back thanks so much for jamming out you guys are awesome please be safe and careful i'll see y'all on episode three